for the scientific notation lab. The purpose is to give us some practice working with scientific notation, doing calculations uh, to get it into and out of scientific notation, and just basically understanding a little bit more about numbers. Uh, you can see that we've got a scientific notation um, description here. We've got the coefficient, which is the 6.022. We've got the multiplication sign, the exponential term, which is the 10 to the, is what I like to call it, and the 23rd, which is the exponent or the power. Now, um, as a brief review of exponents, so uh, we can see that if you square something, that means 7 times 7. If you do 2 to the 5th power, that's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 5 times. And then, of course, the one that we're going to be dealing with mostly, 10 to the, so 10 to the 3rd is 10 times 10 times 10. Now, keeping going, for exponents larger than 1, you've got 1, well, 10 to the 0 is just uh, 1. 10 to the 1 is 10, etc., etc., down to 10 to the 4th. Notice that the exponent indicates how many times the number uh, 1 is multiplied by 10. Uh, how many times the number, cross that out, is multiplied by 10, and how many places the decimal point is moved to the right. So 10 to the first, 10 to the second, 10 to the third. And now what I'd like to do is work through these problems, write the following numbers in exponential form. And uh, what this is going to be, this number is 10 million, which is going to be, uh, so let's see, so we have 0 with power, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 zeros is 10 to the 7th. And we can have just 10 to the 7th sort of uh, uh, without the coefficient, or 1 times 10 to the 7th, these two are equal to each other. Same thing here, although we'll count in groups of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17 zeros to move the decimal point over. So that's going to be 10 to the 17th. Or 1 times 10 to the 17th. And a million, well, for me, I'm going to write that out first. And remember, so whatever helps you get to the right answer and that you can show for your work, please do. So uh, I'm showing you the best way I think to do it. I'm open to how you want to do it as well. I just need to be able to follow your path, whatever that path is. Uh, and uh, of course, we need to get to the same right answer. Looking here, I have six zeros. So this is going to be 10 to the sixth or one times 10 to the sixth. Write the following exponential terms in ordinary decimal form. That's 10 to the ninth. So that means there's going to be 1 with 9 zeros. Like so, where I've got my uh, commas there to separate every thousand. You don't have to have those. 1 times 10 to the sixth, which is just a million, which is something that we saw on the previous page. For decimal exponents smaller than 1, we can see that 0.1 is 10 to the minus 1, and that a negative exponent indicates how many times the number uh, 1, okay, I see what they mean, is divided by 10, uh, or how many times the number is divided by 10, and how many places the decimal point is moved to the left. Negative exponents indicate reciprocals. So 10 to the minus 1 equals 1 over 10 to the 1, or 1 over 10, equals 0.1, or 1 tenth. Same thing for 10 to the minus 2 and 10 to the minus 3. Now let's practice it. Write the following numbers in exponential form. So, uh, and what we're going to do is we need to move the decimal point next to the 1. So we need to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. So this is going to be 10 to the minus 5. And here, 
All right, we got groups of three. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. You got to move it all the way over there. Ten to the minus twenty-one. Now, um, another way I like to do it uh, is to think that if the x one is negative, that means it's a very small number. Which means so because. I have a hard time moving the decimal point to the left or the right and keeping track of which direction I'm going. So what I remember is small numbers, numbers less than one, have negative exponents. Big numbers have positive exponents. And I find that takes me a long ways. Again, however you do it, work it out. Um, write the following exponential terms in ordinary decimal form. So 10 to the minus 7 means... Uh, one with uh, seven times the decimal is moving. So um, let's see. So one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, it ends up right there. And I like to put my zero in front of it so I know where my decimal point is. Try and make my decimal points nice and large so they're visible. 10 to the minus six. Um, is going to be 1, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0. Double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, that is 10 to the minus 6. Um, now we'll add some numbers that include actual uh, coefficients. In scientific notation, notation 1,201, would be 1.201 times 1,000, which is times 10 to the third. And similarly, you can get negative exponents too. Some examples. So the mass of a hydrogen atom in scientific notation, uh, we're telling you what it is, at least in this example. So uh, we're gonna move the decimal point three, six, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 places to get a very small number. So this is going to be 1.67 times 10 to the minus 24. And I heart units. So I'm going to, uh, they gave me units for this one. I'm going to put the units. Express the diameter of a hydrogen atom in decimal notation. All right, so we've been giving the scientific notation 1 times 10 to the minus 10 meters. All right, that answer space looks a little small, so I'm going to write it over here. So uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 spaces that way. Fill in all my zeros. Now let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wait a minute, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, I apologize. I did it wrong. It's a good thing I checked my work. So let's do it. Let's do it up here this time. 1. So 1. Oh, there we are. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's see if it works this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Sorry about that, but um, so that is, I guess, a good example of checking your work and taking your time, making sure that you. you I, don't know, I guess I checked it both ways to make sure. Oh, and there's only one number, and there's only one. Sig fig, so, all right. Write the following numbers in scientific notation and uh, always write all the digits you're given for these. So this is gonna be one of my decimal points right there. I'm going to have to move it four places for a big number. So this is gonna be 3.5615 times 10 to the plus four because it's a big number. Here we've got the decimal point one, two, three, four different places, 4.0. It's a small number, so it's got to have a negative exponent. Uh, 
ordinary decimal form, so we're uh, just the opposite of what we did. And let's try this again. So I'm going to write this out 3.0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. That should be three million. So yeah, that's that looks right. Uh, so one point four nine times ten to the minus fifth. Oh, holy cow! I'm sorry. Gets back on the page there. So one, two, three, four, five. And that should be right. So zero point. Zero, 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 one, four, nine. Yep. So far, so good. Now, uh, write the following in decimal form in standard scientific notation. Ah, so these are strange examples. Decimal form, all right. So 3605, 3605 times 10 to the minus four. Move that decimal place four places to make the number smaller. And I get 0 0.3605. And in scientific notation, I just move it one place to get the um, digits so that it's between uh, one and nine. Uh, so uh, 3.605 times 10 to the minus one. And again, this number is smaller than one. So this is going to have a negative exponent. OK, we've got a small number and times 10 to the minus 6 is going to make it even smaller. So all right, move it six places to make it smaller. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I end up with that. And then put all my zeros in. Ooh. There we go. Now rewrite this. So it's going to be 0 0.1234567891010 zeros and then a 3. 1234567891010 and a 3. I think that's right. All right. So now scientific notation it's going to be uh, put the decimal point right there. So I know it's going to be 3 times 10 to the something. Something negative, because this is a very small number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Times 10 to the minus 11. And hopefully that makes sense, because we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 there and minus 6 there. So. I think that generally makes sense. Now to multiply, multiplying and dividing with exponential numbers. So uh, this is something that oftentimes you'll have your calculator do, but it's good to have a ballpark idea of how what the answer should be so that uh, for me, I know sometimes I make mistakes with my calculator and I wanna make sure that I fix as many of those as I can says to multiply exponential numbers, add the exponents. So 10 to the a times 10 to the b equals 10 to the a plus b. And this works for positive and negative numbers. As an example, we have 10 to the third times 10 to the fifth, which equals 10 to the eighth. So we're adding them when, they're, when the whole numbers are multiplied. To divide, subtract. And we've got some nice examples there. Let's work some more down at the bottom of the page. It says solve the following, and uh, I'm going to need my calculator for this, I think. Uh oh, where is my calculator? Well, I guess I'm doing it in my head or writing them out the long way. So 10 to the 87 times 10 to the 32. Well, add and 12. Add them up then, 10 to the 129. So Two big numbers multiplied together should multiply to get a bigger number. So that works. All right, 10 to the minus 2 times 10 to the 7th. Let's see, so that's going to be minus 2 plus 7 equals 5. 10 to the 5th. 
and uh, let's see another way of rep well, no, I think that's a good way to do it that's the simplest way is the way it's set there all right so this is tricky so here's a small number 10 to the minus 11 divided by a big number because it's 10 to the fifth so we're dividing um, and so our answer should be smaller so another way of representing this let's see so so we're doing subtraction so it's going to be 10 to the minus 11 minus 5 which is 10 to the minus 16th here oh i'm going to have to go get my numbers here so 96 minus 54 2 4 that is positive 10 to the 42nd and getting more complex here all right eight plus negative six well let's see this is minus 11 so this is going to be 10 to the minus so minus 11 so 10 to the minus 3 over 10 to the fourth which equals 10 to the minus 3 minus 4 equals 10 to the minus 7 and they just kept getting longer. All right, so uh, 5 plus 9 equals 14, minus 4 equals 10. And this is going to be 10 to the 10 over 14 plus 2 is 16, minus 6 is 10 to the 10 and 10 to the 10 minus 10 equals 10 to the 0th and if you remember 10 to the 0th is just 1. So the final answer here is 1. That's a good introduction to the rest of this workshop. If you have any questions make sure to ask and uh, the way we do this is everybody will be assigned a uh, well it says everybody completes the entire worksheet and everybody is assigned one problem from the worksheet to make a video about and your video should show not only the correct answer but it should show you talking about how to solve the problems just like i did as i stepped you through this worksheet this uh intro to your worksheet anyway and there are several examples in the learning management system including uh, about how to make a video that describes your problem solving so and uh, you can write it ahead of time and then uh, show the video to discuss you can write it and discuss it as you go think of it this way if you are trying to understand and help somebody solve this problem how would you do it excellent keep up the good work and i'll see you in other videos and in office hours and by email.